Hello everyone, found an article from Electric here. Headline is, first Toyota and BYD co-developed electric BZ3 rolls off the line in China for under 30K. So yeah, I just briefly heard about this BZ3 and I don't know too much about it yet. So I haven't read this article, so we'll go through it here and then I'll post some, I'll make some comments on it after we read the article. The first Toyota BZ3 electric vehicle powered by BYD came off the assembly line this week in China. The co-developed Toyota FAW BZ3 EV starts at just over 27,000 or 189,800 RMB with deliveries expected to begin soon. Toyota officially announced the BZ3 in October 2022, its second model from its BZ, which stands for Beyond Zero, lineup of fully electric cars. BZ3 electric sedan is jointly developed by BYD Toyota EV Technology, a joint venture created with FAW Toyota a joint venture between FAW Group and Toyota and BYD. The relationship is interesting between one of the most prominent EV makers, BYD, and the largest car maker, Toyota, which has fallen behind in the race to introduce fully electric vehicles. Toyota builds the BZ3 EV on the eTNGA platform, the same use for the BZ4X electric SUV. But BYD manufactures the lithium-ion LFP battery, motor, and electric control system resulting in a maximum range of over 600 kilometers, about 372 miles. Hmm, pretty good if that's true. The interior of the BZ3 is also much different than the BZ4X with a digital island system that integrates a large vertical center display into a tray type console. According to a new report from Car News China, the first Toyota BYD co-developed BZ3 came out of assembly this week and is ready for delivery. The report that the Toyota BZ3 is out for pre-sales in China for 2000 RMB. The first 5,000 customers can reserve their spot before the EV launches on May 31st and receive a credit of 5,000 RMB. FAW Toyota says repeat buyers are eligible for a 8,000 RMB replacement credit or alternatively a six, must be the 6,000, it's a typo there, 6,000 RMB additional purchase credit. First time buyers are eligible for several benefits including free maintenance for 10 years or 200,000 kilometers, charging incentives and roadside assistance. The news comes shortly after Toyota slashed the prices of its electric vehicle, the BZ4, in China by 15%, which is 4,300 US dollars, with a new starting price under 25,000 US dollars to better compete in the region. Electric's take on the whole thing. China's EV market continues heating up with startups like NIO and Xpeng, as well as legacy automakers fighting for a position in the rapidly expanding market. As Car News China notes, Toyota saw its first decline in sales in 2022, breaking a six year streak. Sales of the BZ4X have been disappointing in China, as well as globally, hence the reason for the price cuts. With a new EV co-developed with BYD, why would consumers buy the BZ3 when they could get an electric vehicle directly from BYD, which has already established itself as a leader in the market? Toyota's new CEO plans to pull the automaker out of the dark ages and into the modern era, but he will need to do more than a co-developed vehicle. But I guess as the saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. Good take. So my thoughts there, decent looking car, initial reaction, four door sedan. Uh, yeah, they mentioned the range is <clears throat> over 600 kilometers, but they don't say what uh, standard that is. There's a lot of different standards. The, I would say the best standard is the EPA rated range, Environmental Protection Agency and the States. There's some other rating agencies worldwide that are very optimistic when it comes to range and if this is on one of those uh, standards then it might be a very optimistic range but if if it's true that's a very good uh, range even if it's you know off by quite a bit even if you know around 300 miles range you know that's a good range for especially that price point of a car and it's interesting they know the interior with the digital island system that integrates a large vertical center display. Oh, where have we seen that before? <laughs> Into a trade type console. So yeah, interesting article from Electric. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen channel. It's free to subscribe, so feel free to do so. And thanks for watching.